Hey everyone, and welcome to Knot Tying Tuesday. Every Tuesday, a new knot. And today, we're gonna learn how to tie the Alpine Butterfly, which is a strong loop knot you can tie in the center of a rope without needing access to the ends. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so to tie an Alpine Butterfly, you would do this in the center of a piece of rope or anywhere along the length. You don't need access to the ends. That's the main perk of this knot. So what you do is I just stick my hand on top of the rope. You make one wrap on the back of your hand, one wrap on the front, and this will end up being your loop. And then you cross it. So on the back of your hand, you'll have an X, cross it, and then one wrap in the center, okay? And then just pinch and hold the back and the middle wrap with this thumb, grab the loop that's on the front, pass it over both of them to the back of your hand, and then simply feed this up under the knot through the center, that front loop. And then grab the two ends here and just pull it tight. And that's your Alpine butterfly. Draw it up nice and neat. In the front, you should see the rope comes in, one comes in on the top, one comes in on the bottom, and it should look similar on the back. Okay, one more time here. Make one wrap over your hand, one in the front, and if you want the loop to be larger, you'll just have to make this loop a little bit bigger here. And then, one through the center of your hand. So, one, two, three. Grab this second wrap, the one that's in the front, pass it over the other two, and then pass it underneath them through the center of those two loops. Okay? Grab the two ends, and then just pull. Draw it up nice. And there you have it. There is your Alpine Butterfly. Okay, the Alpine Butterfly uh, is an outstandingly useful knot. It's the only knot that I use to tie a, uh, a loop in the center of a rope, and I use it all the time at work. I'm always working with this very thin, like Kevlar or Dyneema cord. It's maybe 3 16ths of an inch to a quarter of an inch thick. Very slippery, and I use Alpine Butterflies in it all the time and put them under a lot of tension, and I have never had one slip or come out, and I've never had to cut one out of that line. So it's an outstanding knot. I use it all the time. I highly recommend knowing it. And I know it look, might have looked a little complicated to tie in the video, but once you get the hang of it, it's very quick to tie. You should just be able to pull it out. There you go. It's an outstanding knot. There is a variation of it. It's called the straight bend. It's the same knot. It's functionally the same knot. You tie it with the ends of two ropes and it's a bend to tie two ropes together and that's actually my favorite bend. I'll be covering that in a later video and I'll link it at the end of this one when I do. So, if you like this tutorial, uh, please like the video. Every Tuesday I'm gonna be bringing out another knot tying video. So if there's anything you wanna see, put them in the comments below and I will start doing videos like that. All right, thanks for watching. Stay wild.